um, we're going to take a look at function notation. Okay, so f at x uh, gives us some equation. And it wants us, I think it's a little hard to read there, but it wants to use binomial expansion um, if something is to the power of 2 or power of 3 were applicable. Now, um, at first glance, I don't see powers of 3. I, I do see where we're going to get a power of 2 in it. Um, and a power of 2 is this instance here. But let's talk about that. We'll, we'll make our way to a question like that, okay? And then we'll use that binomial expansion to find it very quickly. The very first one here, just to get a general idea, f at 4. All that means is you take this function and replace all x values with the value of 4 in this case. So we can quickly algebraically show that. If we get f at 4 equals 12, 4 squared minus 4 times 4 plus 3. Okay, now I'm going to run out of room, so I should have definitely drawn this on another page. Oops, let's go there. Okay, f at x is equal to, so I'm going to jump back and forth because I think it'll help, 12x squared minus 4x, 12x squared minus 4x plus 3. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, we write f at 4, and we get 12, 4 squared, minus 4 times 4 plus 3. So we're kind of jumping through this quickly. Um, we just have to equate everything. So 4 squared is going to be 16, so we're actually going to have 12 times 16. This becomes 16, and this is plus 3. I can actually quickly tell you that here is actually the equivalent of 11 times 16. Think of this as like a coefficient, having a coefficient of times 1. We just subtracted one of them, plus 3. Um, this actually helps me. It's a little simpler off the top of my head to do 16 times 11 because um, we can go 16, well, say, put it like this. If you say 16 times 11, you end up with 16 and 16, 6, 7, 1, 6. So we go 1, 7, 6 plus 3, 1, 7, 9. So f at 4 equals 1, 7, 9. A simple enough question. Let's jump forward a little bit more. Um, let's see if they have one that doubles up a little. We can jump out to this one here. It'll be a little trickier. f at 1 3rd x. So we'll go to the next page. Remember this is the original function we're using, but now what we're trying to find is f at 1 3rd. That's up to 1 3rd x. Same concept. We're going to replace all the x's, but we're replacing it with 1 3rd x, which means we're going to end up with an equation as an answer. So I'll try to use the original colors or the coefficients in green here. And we're going to replace x, uh oh, here we go, with blue. So this becomes 1 third x, that will be squared, minus 1 third x plus 3. So we're just expanding and simplifying to go through this. So we'll jump forward here. This is 1 third x times 1 third x, which is actually going to be 1 third times a third is 1 ninth. If you know your um, fraction multiplication, and x times x is x squared. So we end up with this. We multiply here. I think if we would do the numerator times the numerator, denominator times the denominator, we get negative 4 over 3x plus 3. The last thing to work out, same concept as before, top by top and bottom times bottom. We get 12 over 9x squared minus 4 over 3x plus 3. You can reduce this fraction and say that it's going to be uh, 4 over 3 x squared minus 4 over 3 x plus 3. And then you can do some common factoring and stuff like that. But this is essentially the equation that you're going to end up with. So when you have an x value as part of the value being substituted, you know you're going to end up with a, an equation type answer. These are the same as our very first one. This one gets a little trickier. So maybe we'll look at this one next. I'll jump to a new page again. Um, we'll rewrite this out. f at x is equal to 12x squared minus 4x plus 3. And the question says, it's given us an equation of a question. Um, oh shoot, did I do this right? Yeah, I did. Um, sorry, I just lost my place there for a second. There it is. f minus 4x plus f at negative x. So this is giving us an equation in an equation. f at negative 4 
plus f hat negative x. Okay, so we have an equation with several equations. Let me go back. Yeah, I wrote that right. Okay. The very first one is substituting in negative 4, and the next one is substituting negative x. So we'll write this whole out here. This very first one, we have to write the entire equation and substitute negative 4 for the x values. Then in this one, we write the entire equation again, but substitute negative x for the x value. So the very first part, I'm going to kind of separate them with some square brackets just to make it visually easier to follow. We get 12 times... Four, negative 4, that's the value we're substituting in, squared minus 4 times negative 4 plus 3. And that's our first equation we need to sort out. Then we have our plus, and then we have the second part. 12 again, but this time we substitute negative x in. That is squared minus 4 times negative x also plus 3. Okay, now that we've done that, we can start expanding and simplifying. This is going to give us a whole number, where this is going to give us an equation. So in the end, just looking at this, this gives us some value. It's going to interact with this. This will be the only like term, because this will be to the power of x to the power of 1 and x to the power of 2, and it won't be a like term. Just to show you that, let's take a look here. This is going to be 12, um, 16, minus, or sorry, I should say plus 16 in this case plus 3. This is the same concept. I'm kind of jumping through this quickly. As 13 times 16 plus 3. Um, 13 times 16. I'll have to do it in the top right corner here. 16 and 13. I'll do a little quick multiplication. 8 and 1. That's 4, 0, 1, 6, 8, 10, 2. 208. Okay. Plus 3, 211. So this equates to 211. right? So I've just kind of brought this entire equation down to the number 211. We're going to bring down that operator plus. Now this is going to be an equation. So what we're going to get next is, well, negative x times negative x is just x. Ne negative 4 times negative x is positive 4x plus 3. And actually this is simplified. So we're just going to bring this down. 12x plus 4x plus 3. Okay. I have a little room. Like we said before, we're going to collect like terms. The only like terms left are 211 and Three, these, I didn't write it in properly. That should have a squared value. This is 12x, or 12x squared. And this is positive 4x to the power of 1. So they're not like terms. So that are going to stay the same. We'll get 12x squared plus 4x. And this becomes 214, so plus 214. So that's like an equation within a couple equations. So there's a little extra work to something like that but still very doable if you keep it organized and just focus on um, the values that when you expand and simplify.